Hi. So today I'm going to talk about constipation. Well, kind of. Somebody asked in one of the comments on the videos about could I do a video about getting blocked up, which is pretty common in recovery. And there's really fantastic reasons for it. I actually love this subject because it just shows how incredible your body is and how smart it is and how much it knows what it's doing and it's very intelligent. So, okay, many of us find, much to our horror, that when we do start eating more in recovery, things don't pass through very quickly. Um, and digestion can be gurgly and gassy and bloaty and just crampy and uncomfortable. And that doesn't help, does it? Because, I mean, you've already, you've already got anorexia piping up about whatever, about, you know, the fact that you're eating more. And then you start to feel gassy and bloated and uncomfortable. And anorexia is like, see, yeah, see, you ate too much, didn't you? You didn't, you didn't. It's just, there's a reason for this and it's because your body's smart. So what happens is when you stop eating enough, you go into energy deficit, go into malnutrition, your body does all of these radical and incredible things to lower your metabolism because it's really clever and it knows that Oh, shit, not going to survive with only this much food coming in at this rate. So, need to lower metabolism. It's a bit like if you lose your job and you're like, shit, better stop spending as much money. Stop all of the subscriptions. No more Spotify. I can't afford it. I'm going to cut back. That's That cutting back, that being more efficient with your money, is basically what your body does with energy when you stop giving it enough energy it's a bit like your boss giving you less money you'd be pissed about that and then this is basically what you do to your body when you don't feed it enough you just basically give it less less energy you give it less money it's like your boss being mean anyway so your body's being given less energy and it's like well i'm not going to be able to keep going on and keep on doing all this stuff that i do so i need to do things to slow the metabolism down one of the things that your very smart body does to slow metabolism down is it does this thing called delayed gastric emptying, which does exactly what it says on this tin. It delays the gastric emptying. It slows down the digestive process. It slows down the rate at which your food moves through your digestive tract and all of that stuff. And it's really clever because if you think about it, if you're not eating as much food, you don't need your digestion running at the rate of knots, do you? Spending all that energy just going right really fast. You're just going to slow your body and slow that down. Slow it right down. That's what delayed gastric emptying does. So in a normal person with a healthy metabolism, eating regularly, the, the body sort of, you know, it digests pretty damn fast. It moves through quickly. When you're not eating enough, it slows that down. And that's why you don't poop as much, because your body's not moving the food through you as much. It's a, let's use another example. I used this example in my book that I just wrote, like, or at least I think I did. I can't remember what I put in there, but I think I used this one. So imagine that we're talking about a factory, and this is a hat factory. It sells, like, really nice straw hats. And straw hats are in fashion, so everybody's buying them. And so this factory is full of workers. It's got these conveyor belts with hats going along the conveyor belt really fast. Demand is high. They're cranking these hats out really quickly. And then suddenly straw hats go out of fashion. Nobody wants them. Can't get rid of them. So what does that factory have to do? Well, it lays off some workers. And there's no point having those conveyor belts going around fast at the rate of knots, is there, with like one little hat on it? No, they're going to slow the conveyor belts down. They're going to make them crawl along really slowly because that's going to save electricity. Just what your body's doing with food and digestion. Then you're thinking, oh, well, what happens then? Is this going to get better? Yes. But you're, because your body's really smart and it thinks that you might go into another famine soon, it's not just going to get better just because you ate a cupcake. It's going to take consistent large amounts of food regularly before your body's going to go, all right, well, maybe I trust that I'm not in the famine anymore, so I'm going to speed this stuff up. 
the other thing that has to happen is in order to speed this stuff up, your body actually has to have some energy reserves. And that takes a while of eating more for your body to actually build up the energy reserves. So it's a bit like this. Go back to that, that hat factory with the conveyor belts. So there's been a recession. No one's been buying hats. And then suddenly Keanu Reeves wears a hat, a straw hat in his next film, whatever it is. And actually Ryan Gosling wears a straw hat in his next film. I would go and buy a whole straw hat if Ryan Gosling wore one. Anyway, so, and then demand for straw hats goes crazy. All the idiots like me go out and want to buy one. And so then that straw hat fat company that slowed everything down and it laid off all these workers and stuff, it suddenly can't keep up with his demand. There's too many people wanting to buy straw hats and they're like we can't we can't get this going fast enough we don't have all the materials in stock we don't have enough people putting feathers in the straw hats to sell them i don't know why they put in straw hats but you know what i mean and so they start panicking and then somebody says to the boss we should probably hire some more people and we should probably get that conveyor belt going a lot faster and the boss is like yeah that's, that's probably a good idea but wait what if this is just a fad what if next week Ryan Gosling takes the straw hat off and nobody wants to buy them anymore. What if we hire all these people and then it's just a fad and we have to go back and, and lay them all off? We should wait. We should wait a week or so and make sure that this high demand for straw hats is going to continue. That's what your body does. It's like you start eating more. It's not just going to be like one day or two days of eating more and your body's like, whoa, let's raise metabolism and get going. Your body's too smart for that. Your body's thinking, this could just be a fad. This could just be like a little oasis we stumbled across on our way to migrate to where the real food is. This could be just like one day's worth of food. We could be back into the famine tomorrow. So I'm not gonna do all this work raising metabolism until I really know that we're totally out of the famine. So long story short, it's gonna be a bit uncomfortable for a while. You're gonna have probably some constipation, bloating, gas. And then if you keep on eating and your body gets the reserves, the energy it needs, and your body also gets convinced that maybe this famine's over, ultimately, your body is going to raise metabolism. And with that, well, actually, what I mean is your body's going to raise, increase the digestion. It's your body's going to put resources into getting your digestive tract going faster and taking away that delayed gastric emptying. So you won't have delayed gastric emptying anymore. You'll just have normal gastric emptying. But you have to earn that. You have to earn your body's trust that food is going to keep coming and it really should invest in making your digestion work more optimally. And you do that with really great nutrition, consistent eating. That's how it worked out for me anyway. And yes, I thought that I was just bloated and horrible and that my stomach would never get speed up and I'd be constipated forever. It doesn't work like that. Body's really smart. Keep on feeding it, trust your body, it will do the right thing. It knows what it's doing. It has got this.